Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's learn how to make custom titles in iMovie 09. So the titles built into iMovie 09 are great if you want something quick and you like the styles that are there. But a lot of people don't realize you can use a feature in iMovie to create any type of title that you want. Let's take a look at how to do it. So there are two types of titles in iMovie. The first is full screen and it appears in between existing video clips. So if we're going to put a title say before this video clip here. We want to first figure out the size of the movie so we can create an image that's appropriate size. So we go into the project properties and we look and we see that we're set to 4 by 3 ratio. So when we export the movie we have a lot of different options and we can see the different ones here like 64480, 72540. We want to pick the one we're going to use. Say if we're going to do 640, 480, we're going to make the image that size, or we can make it one of these larger sizes because it'll shrink down just fine. In this case, we'll just do it 640, 480. So I'm going to use Seashore to create this graphic. I showed you how to use Seashore last week. It's a free program you can use. Now you can use something else like Photoshop Elements, Photoshop, Adobe Fireworks, anything that is a robust image creating program. So we're going to do 640, 480 as the size of the graphic. And the rest of this can just stay as standard. We create it, we get this palette here, it's colored white. So say we want to do a black background, we're going to fill in the background with black. Then we're going to add some text to it. We're going to make the text color white. Now let's make it kind of an orange. And we're going to type some text. And we'll add it there. Of course, you can add all sorts of things here. You can put images in here, uh, backgrounds, photos, anything you want to color this up. You can draw shapes, uh, do all sorts of different things. So let's just draw a quick little brush stroke like that. Then we're going to go and export this, and we're going to export it as a PNG file, which is pretty standard. We're going to save that out, and now we're going to bring that into iMovie. Here we are in iMovie and I've got this file right here which I am ready to drag and drop into my project. One of the things I want to make sure I do is in iMovie Preferences I have Advanced Tools enabled. I'm going to drag this in here and I'm going to put it before the first clip. It puts it in there as a photo. I can now change the cropping of it. I don't want to do Ken Burns. I just want it to fit. Click Done. I could also go in here and make clip adjustments like the length of it. I can add some video effects if I want. I can even do some color adjustments. Then I could also add a transition to it. Like a spin out so it spins out from the title to the first clip. Now another type of title is a overlay that appears over existing video. So typically we make this image semi-transparent. We're going to make it full frame 64480 and click off transparent background in the seashore. There's similar things that you could do in Photoshop, Fireworks, and other programs to create a semi-transparent image. You want to make sure that you, you do them and learn how to do them in those programs. So then we get in seashore here a white background. I'm going to set to 0% opaque. I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to select a portion of that new layer basically the bottom third and I'm going to set the color to 50% black and fill it in. So now we filled that in. Now I'm going to go and undo the selection is what I just did there. Create a new layer there. I'm going to change the color to white 100% and I'm going to add some text. I can then move this text around, position it, and now I can export this again as a PNG. It's my lower third. So here we are back in iMovie. I'm going to drag this lower third over to this video here and use picture in picture. And when I do that, I can see over here it appears as a small upper right hand corner graphic. I can change that pretty easily by first setting the cropping to fit the entire thing. Then I'm going to expand it to full size. Now if I go a little bigger than full size 
iMovie actually gets rid of it. So you want to make sure it stays there. So you can see it lower third over the video. If I go into the actual area where there's video, you can see it there. And you can see it's semi-transparent here, uh, a bar across the bottom with the text, fully opaque. I can adjust on this side here so it only appears over this video area. And I've created my custom lower third. And I can put anything I want there. I can put graphics, uh, drawings, uh, lots of different things with fonts and text. And I could put it at the top of the screen, in the middle of the screen, off to the side. Do whatever I want to fill in this frame with semi-transparent artwork. So that's how you create a custom title in iMovie using a graphics program like Photoshop, Fireworks, or Seashore. Of course, you can combine the two types of titles. For instance, you can create a full screen title. So say if you had a scene at the beginning and you wanted to run titles over it, you can create a series of images that then you transpose on top of it. The hardest part of this for most people is getting the background of the graphic to be semi-transparent. If you're not experienced with graphic programs, it can be very difficult. So look for tutorials on whatever program you're using, like say if it's Photoshop Elements, as to how to create these semi-transparent backgrounds and make sure you export your graphics as 32-bit PNGs to make sure it keeps that transparent background in your final graphic. Hope you found this useful. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.